Hi, I'm uh, David Kearns. I'm a technician with Fairfax County Fire and Rescue Department. I'm here today to show you our uh, new fireboat that we got last year. It's a 29-foot Defiant Metal Shark. Uh, we use this for patrol season during the boating season. It's uh, housed at Station 20, but we keep it on the trailer to give uh, best access for locations to where we can get to anywhere in the county. It has a 350-gallon-minute uh, uh, GPM fire pump. We can hold six people on here with a heated cab and air conditioning cab. Uh, we come out on the weekends and holidays to patrol, keep the waterways safe, and make sure that everybody's uh, operating their vessel in a safe manner. So here we have our uh, fluid camera that we use at night to aid in searching when we're looking for people that have fallen over their vessel or are lost. We have different uh, color patterns that we can use to look through. So we can use this to identify objects on the water that we believe may be a person or something that we're looking for. And we can search all 360 degrees around the boat. So that way we don't miss anything and we can also record video or send video to different locations to our command post. So as you can see the picture is very clear which aids us at looking at night. We do have down vision and sonar on this, that should be cool, which you can look through in the water. So we can actually see under the boat. So if we do have somebody that's in the water, this will actually show up on here where we can actually look and see people, objects, um, cars, boats, uh, aids to navigation or objects that we want to avoid with the boat. And we have different versions we can look through. So here we have, this is our uh, VHF marine radio that we can use to talk to the Coast Guard other boaters on the water that have handheld VHFs or if they have a VHF on their boat. Channel 16 is the distress signal channel so if you ever have a problem or uh, emergency or mayday on the water channel 16 is what the Coast Guard monitors. We also monitor here at the station and then over here we have searchlights so there's one on the forward, one on the starboard and one on the port. These lights can go 360 degrees and allow us to see off the side of the vessel. And up here we have all our controls for our vents, fans, uh, bilges if we start taking on water ourselves. Uh, here's another screen that we can use for different um, ports or aids where we can have a chart, radar, and the FLIR all on one screen here. So we can have multiple screens where you can up, do up to four. Over here is how we control the FLIR. This is our joystick docking, which we aid with getting up to another vessel so we don't damage our vessel or theirs. Or we can actually turn the boat 360 degrees. This right here is our engine display. Tells us which way the rudders turn so that we can see which way the boat is going. Also our engine RPMs, what gear, if forward and reverse, each engine is in. This is the controls to start the engine with our key. This is our basically our engine monitoring system over here. Tells us the height of our trim tabs, RPMs, fuel, uh, battery settings, temperatures for both engines. Also gives us water depth. Uh, trim tabs to help smooth out the ride for if we have a patient that's on a backboard. And then over here we have a windless anchor. So our anchor basically is power to where we can operate the anchor from in here. We can either uh, deploy it or retract it without having to go out there on the front and put somebody in harm's way, we can actually do it in here, set the anchor, and then we can be at anchor if we have to, to uh, aid in a rescue or assist another broken vessel. And then over here we have our throttles, which we have our trim tabs over here to, if we get into shallow water, we can actually bring our motors up out of the water a little bit so that we can continue at a shallower depth. So here we have one of our uh, uh, main readers that we use to talk to Fairfax with another additional radio that we can use for talking to the Coast Guard so that we can have this radio on a different channel so if we need to talk to another boater or something instead of using um, 16 as a distress signal we can talk to them on 09 or 06 and then keep 16 clear for people that have emergencies and then this is our CAD terminal like we have on our uh, apparatus that keeps us abreast of like GPS coordinates the boat operators phone number so that we can call them and come in contact with them versus having to tie up the radio and it will also give us another map view so that we can see where we're at on the water and the land and then use this as another means to talk to Fairfax or request additional units to come out and help us search or take care of our tasks. So here we have this is our 350 gallon uh, Darley fire pump. This is what we use to operate the uh, deck on the front of the vessel. 
We can also have hand lines here that we can also deploy if we have to go onto a ship that's on fire. We can hook them into here, or we can remove the front nozzle and hook them into there also. It does have a through the hole pump, so we don't have to worry about dropping a line over the side or anything like that. It comes straight out of the water, goes into the pump, and then out with either nozzle or hand line we have. This is our pressure gauge here, so we can see what pressure we're at, along with our throttle, electric start, and choke. And then uh, we have a fuel gauge over here to make sure that we're not overpressurizing with fuel. And this we uh, keep always at the ready and to go in the water. So this is our generator for our vessel here. We have our uh, on switch here. We also have another switch in the cab so that we can start this remotely. This provides AC along with some additional lighting and things for the fireboat. We do have a climate controlled cab so we can get somebody out of the water depending on the conditions if it's hot or cold. We can change the temperature of the cab to be either cold to help somebody with heat exhaustion or somebody that's hypothermic. We can turn a diesel heater on and give the person some uh, warmth till we get them to a land-based unit for transport to the hospital. So here we have our dock line that we use. We can use these to go into another dock or uh, port. So when we have somebody on our vessel that we're going to additional docks to drop them off. We use these lines, we use two on each side, either uh, port or starboard, and we use these to secure the vessel to the dock so that we can get somebody off without injuring them further or dropping them in the water. The same thing here with our uh, fenders. These go off to the side of our vessel. These protect our vessel and the vessel that we're coming alongside of from damage. They also keep us uh, from crashing into the dock, causing damage to our vessel. So right now we are getting our ALS equipment off our engine to put it on here so that we have an ALS transport boat. We are the one of the few counties around the area that actually has a paramedic on the boat when we go out on a patrol or on responses so that we can get ALS care to the person in need as quickly as possible. Uh, we are patrolling on the water, we're doing area familiarization, looking for vessels that could be in distress that have no way to reach communications, their cell phone could be dead, they have no marine radio or any other uh, aids to help them navigate back to shore. So the typical calls that we respond to are people that have not come back to the dock, they're overdue situations, or callers that have got out in the ocean or out into the bay that haven't reached uh, a dock or some area that they're lost or they've run out of fuel or their boat won't start. We've also responded to different calls for kayakers or canoes that have been turned over, sailboats, or people that have run aground and have started taking on water. We occasionally get the boat fire from uh, vessels while they're refueling. In other situations, we can go out and assist. Uh, if you need us, you can call uh, us on channel 16 while we're out on the water, and we can come assist you with whatever you need.